scrapbook buddies. Today we're going to make better together borders. We're going to be making 10 borders. Um, so what you need is you need some baby blue, you need some deep sea green, uh, some yellow. This is an island water and a purple ice. Um, any of these shades of the colors that you have, just grab those colors so you can sit and make with us. Um, the Better Together stickers are only available through an advisor, so if you have an advisor, make sure you contact them. If you don't, let me know and I can get you a kit. Um, so the kit to make this is $10, um, and we are going to make the borders right now. So each, you're going to start with cutting each one of your papers, because you're going to need two of each. Each one of your papers is two and three quarters, two and three quarters by 12. So two and three quarters, two and three quarters, two and three quarters, two and three quarters, two and three quarters. So you're going to start by doing that. So if you want to pause the video and get your paper cut, that's good. Or if you're going to be getting a kit from me, you'll be able to watch this video and make it along because I'm already pre-cutting the colors for you. You will also need two squares that are two and a half by two and a half. I used white and you need one inch by 12 inch and you need two of those. Okay, two and a half by two and a half and two one by 12 and these are white okay so we're going to be using the border maker system today so i'm just going to kind of pile these up over here so i can make the mess on my mats as we do them okay and you get your border maker system you're going to be able to put your first strip of paper in like this okay flip it back around there's a small and a big groove and then you take a border maker housing unit, and we're gonna be using the Flourish Vine first. Pop that in with the little notches out, the large, large and the small, and then go ahead and punch your board. So we're going to punch all of them first, and then we're gonna go back and decorate them, okay? So go ahead and take that out. We'll push this out of the way. And we're going to do that again with the Flourish Vine. So open it back up in case you haven't used the border maker system. It has a little magnet that holds your paper in place. Then you flip the paper guide back around and go ahead and punch again. This Flourish Vine is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, love it. Okay, now we've got that cut. So now we're going to move on to our next border maker. And the next one we're going to be using is the brand new ancient key one let me show that to you so you can see it a little bit close up and so to get it out of the housing unit you just push that little button and it pops out and we put it back in with these little feet facing out and we're going to be using the deep sea green for this so go ahead and put that in and flip it around and punch now some of the papers this is a little bit of a heavier cardstock so you have to push a little bit harder. Okay. Okay, once again, this is called Ancient Key. We're gonna do that one more time. Okay, flip it around. makes such a beautiful design, doesn't it? Okay. Now we're going to be using yellow or any form of yellow that you have that's going to match the stickers. Or if you're buying the kit, it will be in there already for you. And we're going to be using the sunshine, that's hard to say, sunshine arch. Okay. You don't want that to get stuck into your machine. Okay, so for this one, it's a little, we're going to do both sides of it, okay? So we're going to flip it around, open our paper guide back up, and flip it around, and put it back in. Okay, and punch it again. Isn't that fun? Okay, let's do that again. 
one more time. If you're coming to my retreat in a week and a half, we are going to be making these as one of our classes. Okay. I'm going to flip that around, put it back in here. Sometimes it's kind of fun to experiment with the, these border maker cartridges just to see what they can do. that over here. Now we're going to be using, this is called a pyramid keyhole. It's very unique. We never really have had anything like this. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. We're using the island water paper, which is this bluish green teal gorgeousness. This would make some great confetti if you had a party to go to. And we're going to flip that around like that. Put it all out on the paper guide and punch again. Now look how fun that is. So fun. Okay. We're going to do that again. Once we've cut all of these, then we're going to go ahead and start decorating them with the stickers. So that's again, this is the pyramid keyhole. Watermaker cartridges just, just give your page a little extra pizzazz. It's a quick, easy way to just jazz up your pages. And flip it around. punch one more time. Okay. And last but not least, we are going to be using the woven scallop one. This one is only available through advisors. So if you want one, make sure you contact your advisor or contact me and we can get you one before they're gone. So we're going to be using purple, purple ice, any type of purple you have that's going to go with the stickers. Okay, and we're going to punch it all the way down again. Look how fun that one is. Okay. And we're going to flip that one around too. You could just leave it like this. That would be really pretty on your page. It's kind of, it's kind of cool looking to... Go ahead and do it twice. Okay, and we've got one more to punch and we're almost done. Okay. While we're doing this, I hope you click subscribe so you don't miss any of my quick, easy, fun videos. Click that little tiny bell. Uh, so you get notified when I make a video. That way you won't miss any of them. And flip it back over for our last long punch that we need. And we're done. Okay, done punching. We are ready to start assembling, okay? So let's get all of our pieces together. I'll move my mats. Well, actually, you know, we're gonna use the mats. I think that kind of helps. Sometimes, especially when you're lining up long stickers to make sure that they're straight, okay? So let's, we're just gonna go from left to right here and put our borders out and start working on them. So let's start with this one with the flourish and grab our stickers. Once again, these are called Better Together. They're, you can only get them from an advisor. So make sure you contact them if you need some or me. 
and we're gonna go ahead and put this on. So we're gonna be using like this graduated color one and we're gonna put that down. Now I've got it lined up right here and I kind of would like to put it right there on the half inch line. So as I bring it down, I kind of hold it, okay? Without sticking it down, kind of hold it, make sure it's straight and bring it all the way down to this end. And I'm also gonna put it at the half inch line down there, okay? So that way I'm getting a nice straight line, okay? And then we're gonna do the same with this kind of a really pretty light lavender one. And I think I'm gonna bring that in and put it right there. And line it up straight, like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So let's grab the other one of these. I use mostly borders on the outside edges, the top edges. So I, some of them are going to be horizontal, some are going to be vertical. Because it's kind of nice to have a variety. So we're going to grab this graduated color one again. Okay, and we brought that in at a half an inch. So let's put it there at the half an inch line. You want to make sure you got it nice and straight. Put it in at the half inch line. Bring it all the way down here. Put it in at the half an inch line. Oops, got a little crooked right there. Okay. So put it straight again. Half an inch. Half an inch. And put it down. Got a little crooked at the end. Straighten that up. That'll just bug me. Okay. And now we need our purple one. Now, this is where if you got foam squares, you're going to grab those in just a minute. If you want to use those, bring that in. Bring it down here. Okay. So now we've got our first two borders done. I am going to be using the Follow Your Dreams. And you could put foam squares on these if you want, or you don't have to. I've done them with my first sample. Uh, some people don't like to use them, so I will leave that totally up to you. We're going to put a couple little of these stars just to give it a little something, a little purple, a little teal. And then we're going to, up here, we're going to go with, let's just see, let's go with filled with wonder. Okay, so we'll bring that in about right there. And then let's put a couple other little stars just to tie that together with the other side. So I'm using the little yellow and the little blue. And there's our first two borders done. Yay! Okay, moving on to our next two borders. This is the one done with that um, ancient key. Okay, so when we punched them like this, but I'm going to probably want the mirror image when I do them. So we're going to do something a little bit just like that. And then we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna grab our long stickers again. And let's line this up, say on the four inch line and the 10 inch line while we're working on it. And I'm gonna use these yellow kind of sun looking things. And I'm gonna come in about a quarter of an inch. You can eyeball it if you don't have uh, a mat to work on. Mat makes it a little bit simpler if you do. And stick that down. Okay. And next to that, I put like almost like a snowflake kind of looking piece. And I did that also about a quarter of an inch away from that one. So put that down. Then we're going to remir image that on the other side. So let's go ahead and get our yellow sun. Straighten that up. Once again, we're going to do about a quarter of an inch in. But you're doing these, so you do them however you like, whatever looks nice to you. You don't have to do them exactly like mine, because there's just no wrong way to scrap up curls. Okay? And then let's grab this other little fun snowflake and bring that in here. And bring that all the way down. Keeping it straight. Okay, so now we've got our borders kind of decorated, but let's go ahead and take these little tiny squares that we cut. These were white two and a half by two and a half squares, and they actually have 
some stickers on here that are squares. So we're going to be peeling those off and kind of centering those in our little square. You should have like a sixteenth of an inch, maybe all the way around that when you're done. Okay, and let's do the other ones up here at the top. It's like kind of diagonal lines and let's go ahead and put that in. Keeping in mind you're just going to have a little tiny white edge going all the way around. Okay. So there were already stickers in there, and I just repeated that and kept them in there. So I kept this one here, two, and three. And then up here, it has a circle, so I'm just going to make sure we kind of get that in the center. And then it has little tiny hearts, different color hearts. So I'm going to kind of put those in at the peaks of each one of those. Okay. This would be a really fun project to get with girlfriends and have a fun girlfriends night and have a glass of wine and work on these little things. How fun would that be? Okay, so now we're ready to attach them. I'm gonna put one up here and one down here. So once you get them where you want them, you can go ahead and grab your adhesive and stick them down. You could put it down with foam squares if you want. You don't have to. And we'll put that about right there. Okay, we've got our next two borders done. Moving on, let's go to our sunshine one that we have. And the sunshine ones are gonna actually go this direction. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit, okay? And we're gonna be putting the long strips going this direction. So we're gonna start with this kind of one that's uh, like a diet, it's a straight little itty bitty slash lines, okay? So we're gonna fill up the space that's here and we're gonna be doing two different ones. So we're gonna put this in here. And as we put it down, we're just kind of looking at it to make sure that it's straight. You can also line it up with the lines on the side. And then the second one, we're gonna use these beautiful teal white with white little hearts. I'm going to bring that in right here. See how much that adds when you add the stickers? It adds so much. Okay. And let's repeat that again on this one. Now you could use these both at the top of the page. You could use them at the bottom of the page. So many options. And I like these because they're so generic. You could pretty much use them for any page you're working on. Okay, then we have our teal with the white hearts. Oops, that one got a little crooked. Just a smidge, so let's pick it up and fix that. Much better. Okay, so now we're gonna add, a, we're gonna add circle stickers, because when I saw it, I saw circles. So I have, I went with the circle stickers. So there's two of them on here, one was, this was, absolutely amazing now with this one i kind of feel like i needed foam squares with this uh you don't have to you could just put it on just like that i like the fact that it was bumped up just a little bit so i'm going to just throw a few foam squares on this one because i just think it really really needed it but once again that's optional if you don't like foam squares you don't have to use them okay so i'm going to bring that in here and put that right there Okay, and then we have one other circle one. It was the one with the three hearts in it. But because I use foam squares on this one, I'm gonna have to use foam squares on that one. So let's just add a few foam squares to that. And I put that on the second one. So I'll probably do the second one from the right-hand side with that one. And we're gonna bring that in right there. How fun is that? Okay, we only have two borders left, okay? So now we have this beautiful one with <coughs> the, the keyhole, okay? I did these horizontal also. Um, so we're gonna be using right down, smack down the middle of that opening, this beautiful one that pulls in yellows and blues and teals, okay? So let's line that up straight so we can kind of see what we're doing on that one. We're going to start that one at the four, 
and eyeball it as we bring it down, just like that. And we're going to do the same with the other side. Okay. Let's switch it around so it's a little bit closer to me. It's easier to see when it's a little closer to you. Okay. And put this straight down the middle again. Okay, so with this one, let's figure out what stickers. We're gonna do so fun together because it is so fun when you're together. So we're gonna put the together right here. We're gonna grab the little so fun and I am gonna put a couple foam squares on that just because I can. And this would be great for outside pictures, pool pictures, water, ocean. So, so fun together. And then over here, we're going to put time to celebrate. Okay. And I did use foam squares on the other side. So I got to have it mirror image. So we're going to put a few foam squares on this before I stick it down. Now, this one would be good for birthday, anything. Time to celebrate. Time to celebrate life. So let's go ahead and bring that in here. Okay, and I think maybe we need a little heart up here. Okay, we are moving on to our last border, girls. I hope you're loving this. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe to the page so you don't miss out on anything. So this one, this one was done with that exclusive border. Remember that one, the woven scallop? And what we're going to do with this one is we had cut those uh, 12, 1 by 12 inch strips. We're going to put those down the middle. So go ahead and grab your adhesive. Put a little on that. And let's center that down the middle. And do that one more time. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to grab this fun, it looks like a star almost, and we're going to use that, we're going to put it straight down the middle, just so we got that fun pop of color coming straight down the middle on all of those, and we're going to grab the second one of those, and we're going to do that one more time, and you're going to notice that we used almost all the stickers on this. You have a few left over for maybe one more little project that you have. Okay. So you can keep these horizontal or vertical depending on which you want. I'm gonna kinda go vertical this time. And we're gonna put uh, So Great. We're gonna do that up here. And then maybe grab I don't know, this last kind of fun star because we kind of have stars in here. This would look great with uh, foam squares too. And then our last one, we've got enjoying each and every moment. And we're gonna bring that down right in here. And that's it, girls. You did 10 borders in 20, 25 minutes. How fun was that? Once again, this is the Better Together package. If you need one of these, you can contact your advisor or you can contact me and happy scrapbooking.